Hi and welcome back to the Skeleton Closet. This is Cal and we're going to be working on thinning paints today. I've got some of my practice dudes out of my Path Gaming box and we are going to be working on some cloaks and some robes and see if we can thin these paints consistently. I'm going to start with the big guy and we're going to pick some green for him. Okay, this is a darker green. I've got some on my palette and I'm just bringing some water over with my brush just to pop on the palette, ready to go. How much you need is going to depend on the paints that you're using. I found this out as I'm going along. So I'm just going to start by mixing a tiny bit of that water in there. And I've put my glove on just so that I could check on the back of my hand. So there, I've just mixed a little bit in there with a touch of the paint and we can see that that has quite a nice smooth consistency it's gone on quite well now to demonstrate what happens with thicker paint I've just mixed more of that paint into the watered down stuff and you can see just on the edge of that there's like a ridge where the side of the brush is yeah there's a lot of paint there but it's not going on evenly it's starting off really thick and then it's thinning out very fast if I add too much water we shall see in a second there we go you can see that the paint has started to break apart a little bit. We are thinning with water, we're not using thinner. I don't have access to thinner out here for the minute. When I get back home in just over three weeks time, and that I will do a follow up where we start playing around with thinners because I haven't worked with them yet. Okay, so we just popped a little bit more paint in there and we will get to doing this guy's cloaks. And I'm just pulling some of the paint back to see if it springs back into that larger puddle and that it was springing back a little bit, so I've tested it on the back of my glove and I'm happy with that consistency. Now green, I found out of all of the colors that we're testing today that the green had the worst coverage. It took more coats of this paint than any of the others to get a relatively even, you know, nice saturated coat at the end. But, you know, this not too bad. Sometimes you'll get two coats, sometimes It'll be three coats. It doesn't really matter as long as you're making sure that it's drying properly in between those coats before you go back in there. You'll get there eventually. And if you're enjoying the painting as much as I am, and it's not going to matter anyway, is it? Now, one of the things I did find, and this is, this is something I need to correct myself, is painting from the top halfway down and then painting from the bottom halfway up led to some lines in between so I'm just trying to clean them up but at the same time obviously I'm going over paint that has already started to dry and we'll see how that looks when we check out the dry first coat in a little while but let's get on to some of these other guys we've got all of the back of that cloak finished let's move on to our next one so our archer we're going to give a leather brown color decided to go with leather brown for this one and again, we're just mixing a little bit of water in there. I've got a new little blob of water that I'm using. And I'm doing the exact same thing I did with the last cake. I've done halfway down and then I'm going back up. As you can see, it takes me a while to get these things in my head, but I will get there. <laughs> it's all about practice. Eventually I will be able to practice enough, get enough paint on my brush in order to make that one continuous streak all the way down. And uh, I'm using that, the Army Painter base coating brush at the minute. And then, so maybe if I got, you know, a slightly larger brush that could hold a lot more paint, then it wouldn't be so much of an issue. Okay. Our little soldier guy has a wolf gray. Um, color going on him. I really like this kind of really light blue gray color. It seems like it's going to be quite useful for a range of things. And again, I'm trying to paint all the way from the bottom all the way up to the top as much as possible to try and keep more of a kind of consistent direction of these paints. A little raccoony berry, I'm not really sure what he is, kind of looking guy. He's wearing a nice long red coat, or he will be once we painted it. I expected this paint to be the worst in terms of coverage and also trying to get a nice consistent coat on it. So I was really, really pleasantly surprised. This is the bloody red from the game colour. I was really, really surprised on how nicely this covered even from the first coat. 
Um, so I only needed two coats on this one and the second coat was just to even it out a little bit. And then here and there there'd be a touch up when I made a mistake and got paint on the coat from painting the other bits. And then later on. But we're not concentrating on those bits, we're concentrating on capes and cloaks right now. Capes and cloaks and capes and cloaks and, and ropes. That's the one. Nearly forgot the word. Okay, this next one um, is our little wizard. So he's in a robe. And we're going to go blue with him. We're going to go ultramarine blue. And that, but yeah, let's stick him on the stand first. Um, oh, wait, he doesn't fit. He's too small. I know. What am I going to do? Nah, you know what I'm going to do. Luckily, that blob of blue tack has been waiting for its debut. So we're going to get some of that off and we're just going to stick him to the painting handle. And that, let's just whack him on there. Give it a little test. Is he coming off? No, nope, I think we're good. Okay. So yeah, this, this figure is a little bit smaller than the others. Um, he is wearing these wizard robes, all blue. And he's also wearing a little wizard hat, which I think will end up matching it. And then, so let's check out the ultramarine blue. And that, and again, I didn't need a lot of water to thin this and that too much. So as you can see, I have pretty much thinned out the whole blob. I haven't learned the art of just thinning out a little bit of the paint from the blob yet. That's um, still to come. And that, but yeah, I'm just checking that it springs back again. Are you springing enough? Are you springing enough? Yeah, let's just wipe some of the excess paint off there. And then I'm just gonna test it on the back of my glove. Am I happy with that consistency? It looks all right. Nearly knocked the wizard over. But yeah, nobody saw that. It's fine. Just keep painting. Okay. So again, the blue went on quite nicely with this one as well. Um, he does have a lot more robes. I will point out, we're not doing any layering. We're not doing any blending. And that with any of these, we are just base coating capes and robes. Capes, cloaks and robes. That's what, what they're called now. So we're just working on them to get a nice even coverage. My blending technique needs work. And in an upcoming video I'll show that I'm going to do one of the Warhammer Tomb Banshees. And we shall give her a go. And I will have a look. I will have a go at some layering and some blending on that. And we'll see how we go along with it. Um, each technique that I'm learning is a new technique. Okay. And some of them I expect may go okay and others probably not so much. But yeah, that's the first coat on everyone. I've let them dry and we're just going to check it out. So you can see where there's areas where there's darker or thicker paint in there, where it's torn slightly. And that's because I went back over the paint more than once before it dried. So that's a no-no. We no do that. Uh -uh. So that's something I need to learn there. So yeah, we're going to go back in with the green and we did two coats on all of them apart from our little guy with his green coat who had three. I did a bit of extra paint there um, just to colour in some of the other areas, give them a little bit more interest. But you can see we've got fairly decent coats on the go. I'm quite impressed with myself, you know. If you look at that compared to some of my, new, my older models, uh, there's definite improvement. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, write some words down below. But other than that, I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.